family, friends and all the rest. So I've not really been around lately, as you can tell, you know. I've uh, been sat in the background eyeing up stuff, weighing up stuff. This video is going to be a video to Mr. Dean Lynch Ward, the plastic gangster hard man knuckle boy. What can I say on this guy? So basically, all along for the three months I was promoting 3D Fight Club, I was doing a good job of it, wasn't I, you know? Getting people on, the fighters, the promoters, the this, the that. Advertising it for three months, yeah? Like, you know, putting the effort in, because I thought, you know what? These lads seem sound, you know? I don't mind working with these a little bit, you know? This, you know, they're good lads. But deep down, deep down in the background, old Dean Lynch Ward was just laughing at me. Thinking, ah, I'll mop at him, we'll use him, you know? He's just a little idiot. That's what Dean really thought of me. And I've been going back and forth with him for a couple of days on messages, voice notes and that. And what I wanted to know is, was he really using me? Was he treating me as a muppet? Was he just treating me like a dickhead? And it's answered my questions. I've just sent him a voice note about five minutes ago and he answered back. I trapped him, I did. I trapped him, you know, I wanted to see how, what he really thought of me. And I, I got it out of him. He didn't really like me, he didn't really, you know, respect me. He just fucking thought I was a muppet to do his fucking work for him, advertising his fucking promotion. He thinks, yeah, that I've um, built my channel on the back of his name. His name, this Dean Lynch fraud, yeah, that nobody knew until he's come out just calling people out and acting gangster and this, that, the other. Yeah, anyone can, who can get a gun and shoot someone or do whatever, you know. This guy's a plum, man. He's a proper fraud, mate, you know, he's a proper innocent boy. And that's what you are, Dean, I don't give a fuck if you come down to start in Wales, Manchester, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you will do me in, you know you will. Do you know what I mean? You know I'm not a proper fighter, man, but I don't give a fuck, bro. If you come at me, mate, I'll put a bat straight across your fucking noggin, so. You know what I mean? Just because I'm all quiet on this YouTube fella, trust me, I don't want beef, I don't want anything, but after what you just put in that message about you wanted that string to really knock me out, this, that, the other, do you know what I mean? You fucking innocent boy, you absolute knobhead, mate. You're a fucking wet wipe. Everyone's laughing at you anyway. I thought you used to be sound, mate, until you ripped us all off with our wages, you fucking plum. Do you know what I mean? You little muppet. Absolute sausage boy. Everyone's laughing at you. <laughs> Even I'm laughing at you. Do you know what I mean? That I'm like one of the like quietest, you know, just humblest, nicest fellas around. And I'm even laughing at you thinking, what a joke. Even before, yeah, I used to like I used to like you, yeah. And then, you know, I think, ah, oh, Dean, don't do that. It's a bit cringy. Like, I was even like, do you know what I mean? But I didn't slag you off or put you down because I actually used to like you, but you turned into an absolute weapon. Ed, what everyone said about you is true. You're a fucking works man. You know, you're not a traveller. You're a wannabe traveller. You're a works man. You're a joey. You're a dosser. Do you know what I mean? You talk, you're all this and that, gangster. I got this and that. You haven't got a pot of pissing, bro. You're more skinned than me. You're on your hoop, mate. You know what I mean? You go out with the lads on a weekend, yeah? And all oh, the lads have to pay for you and that because you're always owing your money out for lemon, wouldn't that? You know, you go to your local grafter and you have to pay your fucking wages or what you've earned in a week to your local grafter and then you're back at it and you go, oh, tick, 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 tick all week. You're on your ass, mate. You're a muppet. You're a joey lad. You're a works man. You're a fucking innocent boy. I don't like you no more. After what you just sent me there, you're a fucking muppet, Dean. You're an absolute sausage. Saying you want, oh, you're the, you know, I'm not even going into it. But like, I've gone back through the messages, listen to him, listen to him, how you act, yeah? You're saying come to Manchester to get my £800. Mate, I come there the other week to sign a contract, you shot off because you didn't have a pot of piss in. You're on your ass. Just admit it, you are on your hoop. Do you know what I mean? You haven't got fuck all, mate. You haven't even got a proper watch. Your watch is off Berry New Road or whatever it is, Berry New Market, whatever it is. You know what I mean? Don't come on here acting all gangster, mate, because your lies and the bullshit, it always catches up with you, mate. And now, slowly but surely, everyone's seeing through you what you really are, bro. You know what I mean? You're a fucking muppet. And I'm going to title you this in this name, and I'm going to put it as a premiere as well, Mr. Dean Lynch. Fraud. Do you know what I mean? Fucking muppet. Do you know what I mean? You come up where you always threaten me as much as you want, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't care anymore. Do you know what I mean? Whatever, innit? Do you know what I mean? You don't have fucking want to do someone in because you can't handle the truth. You ripped us off, you're on your ass, and you're a joke, and everyone's laughing at you. And that's the be all and end all of it. You are a joke. 
Take it easy, Wakes, man. Shun.